visions of the Garden of Eden, flowing with water, rich in life and wild. Gardens of Paradise is the theme of this year's International Garden Festival in chaumont sur loire France. Much of what is on display here can serve as an inspiration for public spaces all over Europe. White feathers are not only beautiful, they also offer protection from ultraviolet rays. A wall runs through this garden. Paradise becomes a retreat. These female Italian landscape gardeners work with banana trees and the bird of paradise flower, Strelizia. Worth imitating, says Stefania Naretto. This is a format, a module, that could be used by a company to create a space to relax in, more likely by a restaurant than a private individual. So in this sense, it's a model. A styrofoam cloud imitates the depiction of the sky on the floor. Like with the resin panels, we recognize the octagon as a geometric form on these clouds. Like pop art. <laughs> a garden that is easy to look after, says Chiara Otella. It's very easy to care for, since the plants and flowers aren't stuck in the ground, but in a vase. Just a few minutes away is the Garden of Paradise by French Thai artist Sophie Cao Ariar. She loves herbs and plants, but also has an artistic side. As you can see, these discs are made from acrylic glass. I painted them on both sides, florally and fractally. Her paradise doesn't need much water. Instead of costly sprinkler systems, the plants are irrigated directly in the soil. We use these terracotta vases from the south of France. They are filled with water and embedded in the soil. The plants then take as much as they need. These landscape artists from Montpellier, France, show how to use ugly plastic ventilation pipes in a different way. Florian van der Donk and Floriana Marti's concept for beautifying cities. En fait, on a pensé au jardin de Babylone. We thought of the Hanging Gardens of Babylon. That's the project's title. And we wanted to put into practice the ideas of plants floating above us. It's magical, the way they enter our life from all sides. Floriana Marti thinks this approach to beautifying cities could catch on. Our garden is set above the ground, so it can be installed in public places. We're from the south of France, where it's very hot and there's a need for shade and for freshness. And so you can wander around under these structures, especially in public spaces. A South Korean artist sets the inner and outer world against one another. Suggested walls and furniture create a green living room. Life with nature as an energy source for humankind, says director Chantal Collot Dumont. Most gardens, like this one, establish paradise as a place on earth. It can be found in solitude, reflection, concentration, and introspection. And here we've got a house with a border between inside and outside. And here we have the message that one needs to open up towards the others on the outside. Colorful partitions of golden and silver foil. The Garden of Eden looks different for everyone. It's extraordinary, surprising. Some things I like more than others, but I marvel at every corner. 
I feel the same way. There's a lot of imagination, poetry and work involved here. Really great. Amazing how many works of art can be seen here. There's something for everyone. The International Garden Festival in chamont sur loire presents gardens from paradise in a paradise-like setting in central France. <laughs>